Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. I am Yaman Nakhri from Al Muttazar School with a new lecture Operations on Three Sets from Chapter Number One Sets. Students, from previous lecture you have learned about how to find union intersection of two sets and also how to draw Venn diagrams for two sets. Now, in this chapter, you will learn union of three sets intersection of three sets and Venn diagram for three sets. Let's start with union of three sets. Suppose we have three sets A, B and C in which the elements of set A are 1, 2, 3, 4 while B having the elements 1, 3, 5 and 7 and C with 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. And we have to find A union B union C. Let's start solution. First we will write or first we will find A union B. Okay. Which is written in the round bracket. Now A union B. For A union B, first we have to write all the element of set A. Then the symbol of union U. After this, you have to write all the element of set B, right? As you know, in A union B, we have to write all the element either belong to set A or to set B, but only once. As you can see, one and three are common to both the set. That's why we will write them only once, okay? Now, let's start. Now, first element is one. One is common to both, then you will write once. Then we have two. After two, three is common to both, we will write only once. Okay? Then we have four. Now, after four, we have five and seven. Five and seven are the elements of set B. We will write in A union B. Right? Means A union, set A union B contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Okay. Now, after A union B, we have to find A union B union C. It means we have to take union of C with A union B. For this, first we have to write the set A union B, which we have calculated above. Okay. Now, A, elements of set A union B, the elements of set A union B are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. After this, you have to write symbol of union U. Then we have, you have to write set C. Set C is 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Okay. As we are interested in finding union, then again, we will revise the same procedure. We will write all the elements either belong to first set or to second set, but only once, okay? For this, first you have to write one, then two. Three, four, five is common to both the set. Then you will write only once. After five, six will come, okay? And six is the element of set C. After six, seven will come. Seven is a element of A union B, then we will write 7. Then the last element from set C, which is 8. Okay. This is the final answer of A union B union. Now students, let's move towards the Venn diagram for three sets. The concept of Venn diagrams for three sets remains the same as that of two set one. This is a Venn diagram in which three sets and some color region are present. There is no need to write elements in the sets. All you have to understand only different regions, right? In red region, you can see as it does not contain anything from set P and C, it means this region shows only the elements of set A, right? Now, this green region 
does not contain anything from set A and C. Means this region shows only the element of set B. This dark blue region does not contain anything from set A and B. Therefore, this region shows only the element of set C. Right? Yellow region contains only the common element of set A and B. Okay? The sky blue region contains only the common element of B and C. Similarly, this pink or purplish region shows the common element of set A and C. Now, the white region, the most important region, where all the set, sets meet or overlap. So, it is A intersection B intersection C. Right? Now, students, let's draw Venn diagram for the set which are given to us. You can see we have drawn three circle first. Okay, you have to draw three circle, and actually these circles are overlap circle. Okay, let let's insert elements in each region. As we know that this region, in this region, we have to write common element. Okay, and the common element for all three set is three. Okay, then we will insert three here. Now, in this region, we have to write A union B, A intersection B. And A intersection B shows we have to write one. In this region, we have to write common element of A and B, which is one. Okay. In this region, we have to write common element of B and C, then which is 5. In this region, we have to write common element of A and C. In, in A and C, we can see what is common? 4, right? Now, in this region, we have to write purely the element of A, which is 2. In this region, we have to write purely the element of B, which is 7. And in this region, we have to write common. Uh, in this uh, in this region, we have to write the purely the elements of set C, which are six and eight, right? After inserting the elements inside each set, let's have a look for the Venn diagram for our question. Students, as we have found A union B union C in two steps, means in first step we found A union B, then we took union of resulting set with set C. Similarly, we will show the shaded region of A union B union C in two step. In first step, we will shade A and B, right? And in second step, we will shade A, B and C. As we have taken union of resulting set with set C, right? Let's understand intersection of three sets. Suppose we have the same question. Let's start the solution. Now this time we have to solve. Now we have intersection of three sets and we have the same question. For, but this time we have to find A intersection, B intersection, C. For this, first we have to find A intersection, B. As you know, in intersection, we will write only the common or same element to both the set. Here we have one and three are common. That's why A intersection B will be one and three. As we have to take intersection of resulting set with set C. For this, first we have to write set A intersection B, which is one and three. And the symbol of intersection, then we have to write set C. Again, in both the set, we have three is common. It means a intersection B intersection C is 3. Now, the Venn diagram for A intersection B, you can see the overlapping region of A and B is shaded in which 1 and 3 are present. 
means it shows intersection B. Now, as we have taken intersection of resulting set with the set C, then the answer is three. Then the only this region will be shaded. This is another question with the same sets. This time we have A union B intersection C, but you have to be careful about that. You have to solve B intersection C first. Now the answer is three and five as three and five is common to both the set. Then we will take with, uh, then we will take its union with set A and the answer is one, two, three, four, and five, where three is common to both the set, right? Now, the Venn diagram for, for this, first, in first Venn diagram, in first Venn diagram, you can see the intersection C is shown to you, where three and five are, are present. And as we have taken its union with set A, then whole set A will be shaded. Okay. There is another question with the same set A, B, and C. Now this time we have A intersection B union C. We have to find A intersection B union C. For this, first we have to find B union C. In B union C, we have to write all the elements of set B and C, but common elements will write only once, as one, three, four, five, six, seven, and A are the element for B union C. Now we have to take its union with set A. Now we have to take its intersection. Now we have to take intersection of set A with B union C. Now first we have to write set A, then we have to write symbol of intersection then we will write b union set then we will write set b union c and the answer is one three four as one three four are common to both we have required common elements of both set a and set b union c right let's have a look of this let's have a look of one diagram in first one diagram we have shown B, un B union C as we have colored both the region and in this last final diagram we will show that only that region which is common in both B union C with set A. I hope you all understand today's lecture. Now be prepared for assignment and quiz.